Um, we have one more speaker left. Um, John, John Perna is going to give a real quick update on what happened today. Okay, we were up at the State House today, and uh, John's going to tell you a little more about it. But uh, the bill or the resolution is H3604, and passage of this will create the incentive and lay the groundwork for municipalities to pass burdensome ordinances requiring the retrofitting of shopping centers and malls into town centers with hopes of restricting automobile usage. Oh this is direct from Agenda 21, and you can see where this is leading. Now, if property rights can be taken from anyone, they can be taken from everyone, and John will explain. Yeah. Uh, the, Agenda 21 is like being shot at with a shotgun multiple times. The, the shot is everywhere. You can't dodge it. You can't catch them all. It's everywhere. We, we fought them down there in Lexington County, and we won. Then we had several bills over there in the House, and we went to the subcommittees, uh, one right after another, and we beat them all. Uh, this one, you know, we know about the property police. We've all had that experience with the property police about the yard police, your, how long your grass can grow and all that sort of thing. Well, this one is one that is for uh, businesses, for people that run shopping centers. But Agenda 21 basically is a great big massive central planning. We're going to have these free green zones, wild spaces uninhabited by human beings and the human beings are supposed to be all bunched together in little organized centrally planned communities where you can ride your bicycle down to the shopping mall and get everything in your government approved uh, uh, rations from the food stores and your government approved rations for the uh, for allotment for clothing and do, and do, whatever else yes do they know that my bicycle doesn't have air conditioning uh you're not yeah, going to be allowed to have air conditioning because they're going to ban freon uh, uh, um but all the other and all the other <laughs> but you know I, I love that sign no lobbyists uh, uh, allowed uh, even though I think half the rep representatives and senators down at the state house think that I am a lobbyist and they think Sharon's a lobbyist too because we do everything that the lobbyists do except for take them out to lunch because we don't have a budget like the lobbyists do. Um, but anyway, we had a very good day today. We spent the day at the State House today and, and they were supposed to have voted uh, this out of the full, the full uh, Senate Judiciary Committee. We never heard about this being in subcommittee and she follows that calendar rigorously. And I don't know how they got it through the subcommittee process without us being able, they did not take speakers, but we went there prepared to speak. I didn't have to do any preparations about getting ready to speak because I still had my notes from all the other speeches I'm getting to be where it's a, it's a common routine speech now, uh, fighting Agenda 21 in one aspect or another. But anyway, we had a very good day. They got bogged down and adjourned. Uh, and so we're safe until they take it back up again and now, we have an opportunity to organize to, to, uh, uh, to put some a really serious opposition about this, which this took me by surprise. It took Sharon by surprise. I can tell you that Sharon is the brains behind my operation, and she's the real fire that, get, that gets me out of bed. I was going to sleep late. You know, <laughs> She gets me going and tells me how important it is that I have to get going on something. And so um, I said, what, 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 what is this? Um, and uh, I said, oh, this is the same thing we've already been fighting. All right, we go down there and we do something about it. Um, and, uh, but anyway, we have time to organize now. This is the bottom line. The Senate Judiciary Committee is going to bring it back up again. I, if, if things got so hectic in there today, I don't even know whose motion it was to adjourn. Uh, but whoever it is, he has my support for at least the next 15 minutes. Um, but uh, on my web page, uh, uh, targetfreedom.com and targetfreedom.typepad.com, both of them are my web pages, mirror, mirror web pages. Uh, you'll find an article called The Global Plan for Local Fascism, uh, and you'll also find an article that has a subject line, uh, uh, Go to Jail for a Messy Yard. Uh, and um, the, uh, the, the, this is a, a basic synopsis of an article that is at a printer in Lexington County right now, and it's been revised uh, uh, probably a thousand times before I, since I brought it down there and will be printed into a booklet that we will be distributing uh, as soon as we finish writing it and get the money to print it. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to leave you with that and you can go and read what's online right now 
and you've, most of you probably got an email from me that had the synopsis of what the problem is uh, with Agenda 21. And you can check with Nicole because uh, she's got the kit. Okay. Okay. Thank you.